What's going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be my seventh Java tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to update data in an SQL database from Eclipse using from yeah from Eclipse. So we'll make we'll create a new class called it update data. And actually the first thing we'll do is import the SQL library. And then we can start writing code. Username first, and password, which is nothing by default, URL, which I'm going to copy from one of these. So I'm going to type it out again. There we go. And print statement asking them to enter the, oops, enter the ID of the row. So I like to just use the ID here, I think that's easiest. These are all numbered by an ID, so I'm just going to prompt them to enter the ID that they want to, uh, of the entry they want to edit. Uh, or we need to make a global connection variable. And I'll, like I said, I'll make a scanner too, so I'll need that. And we'll pass our URL. But we pass our URL, our username, and password. Just run a try catch. Okay, and our scan. So now we need to get all columns in the table. So we need to create an array. And later we're going to need one with the column values too. So static array list. Oops. Column values, and you got to import the array list library. Okay. So columns equals new array list string. Data to get the columns. Data. Then we need a result set and this one's going to be null, null, and our table name is test table. As we can see here, we're going to refer to that table there. And this gets a percent sign. Okay, so while the results set so it still has data, this loop will run. And so we can populate our columns. get the values we want to change the columns to. Print line, enter the new values below. So call, now we can get the column values. So to create, declare a new array list.
and do a for loop. R is less than columns dot size in I plus plus. And then create a string called change because this is going to be the change, the new value that you want, and we're going to submit it to the values array list. Okay, so now we are ready to create a query. So we need a statement. multiple queries for each entry in the table that we're changing. So update the table, set columns.get value. So this refers to the old column. So set the old column equal to let's call values dot get I a new one where ID equals the ID that we choose. That should be good. Statement dot execute query. No execute update. So we're updating. The query. And that should do it. And statement close and connection close. And we've got our exception. I think that should be good. So let's run it. Cross our fingers. Hopefully it works first time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Print line statement was down there. Whoopsie. Uh, so we're actually just going to stick this uh, just above here. That's why I wasn't doing anything. There we go. Okay, so under the ID of the row you want to edit. Okay, so let's say so like obviously you could create a like you could add this to the up to the view data uh, tutorial that I did and prompt the user to view all the contents of the table. Then you could see which ID you wanted to edit. So like, I don't know, let's just go with number 5 here. So we'll go, we want to edit number 5 into the new values below, so the new ID you want it to change to. Let's change it to ID 6, and let's change the name to, I don't know, it's J now, so let's change it to Jason, and we'll change it to Jason at, he's going to have a Gmail account now instead of a Yahoo account. So enter, and now let's refresh and check to see if it was updated. And yeah, so we have... ID 6. Interesting though, it only updated the 6. Oh, I get maybe you can only update one at a time. Okay, ID 6. Keep it at 6. Let's change his name to Jason. And Jason at yahoo.com. Oh, weird. So it, it did the whole update that time. I wonder why I didn't last time. Hmm. So anyway, there's a easy way to update data in a database. Uh, obviously easy to see how you could integrate that into your into your uh, view data or and then add a delete function and an add function. So as always, thanks for watching.